Sally, and my husband Austin and I are the lead pastors of Tacoa Church, and we have two daughters, Hannah and Riley. I grew up in a home that taught me about God and about Jesus, uh, but faith was not really a serious part of my life until I got to high school, and I was part of a Christian club at my public high school and started to go to church more and read my Bible more and just dive deeper into my faith. And from there, I ended up going to a Christian university and just continuing to grow in my faith and who God was calling me to be and how he wanted me to live out my faith. And I realized more and more it wasn't this just belief system of, uh, yeah, what I believed, but it was really living out my faith on a day-to-day -day basis and how God wanted to use me to impact his kingdom. To be honest, when Austin asked me to share on this topic, I thought, you know, I'm not really that greedy of a person. Um, but then I really realized that I am, um, and I have been, and I, as I reflected on my own journey, I even realized in my tithing how um, when I was newer in my faith and younger, that wasn't something that I had fully committed to God. I was giving money to the church, um, but it definitely wasn't the 10% or above that that God calls us to give, and it was more of an afterthought, something I was doing because I knew I was supposed to. Um, and as I really started to grow in my faith and explore more of what tithing was and what it meant to be a person who was generous, I realized that God wanted me to be giving more. Um, and it's something that Austin and I have really made uh, a foundational part of our marriage and our ministry together is being people who are generous and tithing. Um, and it's really transformed my faith in so many ways. I mean, I feel like there's definitely areas where I have uh, been fearful of whether or not we would have enough. And it wasn't necessarily that I felt like I wanted more money. It was that I wanted to have enough to be able to provide for my family and, and just the things in life and maybe this fear that I wouldn't. Um, and so I definitely feel like there's been seasons where, um, you know, I've, I've seen um, you know, when I had student loans and, and I had those bills to pay off um, or just different things where, um, you know, I, I questioned, okay, God, are, are you able to provide? Like, I'm not seeing how this is all going to come together, uh, but time and time again, he has. I think my one perspective that I've had of finances that's really shifted is the fact that it's not my money, especially when I first graduated from college and I had my first job. I was so excited for my first paycheck and, you know, I was like, okay, this is my money. How am I going to spend it? You know, I want to save it. And, you know, I was doing good things with my money. It wasn't like I was going and, and wasting it yet. Um, again, I wasn't fully trusting God with it. And I feel like my perspective has shifted and that I see it now as it's all God's money and he's entrusted it to me. I get to play a piece in uh, and be a part of what's going to be done with that, but ultimately it's all his. And when I know it's all his, I get to be a good steward of what it is that he's given me, um, but it's not mine in the first place. So yes, there's still bills to pay. Yes, there's still needs that need to be met, um, but I get to help be generous in uh, giving that money to the church and giving that money to other people who might be in need. And now I I mean, we still look at the number and like look at our budget and finances, but it's so different. I don't focus on that number. I focus just on what God is calling me to do with the money. And it really is something that I'm often amazed at, you know, okay, we've just given so much. How do we still have so much left? Um, and that's just, I've, I've just continued to see God provide in that, that when I trust him with my finances, that he provides more. And sometimes I don't even understand how the money's there. Um, but he, he provides it. So I would definitely say I can enjoy life more um, and my finances more because I don't have this fear anymore. When we, especially coming back from doing missions in Costa Rica, I was very conscious of our budget and of the money that we had and it made perfect sense, right? We had just come back from the mission field. We didn't have a lot of money. We were trying to get an apartment and get jobs and all the things um, that you, you do when you come back and set up life. I had a almost a fear of money and spending money and you know we'd go out to a restaurant and I would order the cheapest thing on the menu. Not because it's what I wanted, but because I felt like I I couldn't spend money that I couldn't enjoy it um, and now I feel like I have this freedom where I don't have to worry about that anymore and again it's 
It's not because I'm, you know, spending more money necessarily when I go out to a restaurant, but it's that I, I see the money that God has provided and I see it as something that's His and I, I, He wants to bless us and He wants us to be able to enjoy the blessing that He has given us. And so I think my perspective has just really changed and it's provided a lot of freedom in my life. I don't have the same worry or the same fear that I had before. I, again, I, I first said that I didn't really feel like I was a greedy person and then God quickly showed me that I was. But I also was able to reflect on, I think so often we associate greed with money. And as I really prayed through what God wanted me to share, I feel like he showed me all the areas in my life that I'm greedy in other ways, that maybe I'm greedy with my time or greedy with my family. Um, and what I mean by that is that I feel like greed is anything that we um, are trying to possess or take hold of or control um, and put in front of God. Um, and for me, sometimes that can even be ministry, that can be my family, that can be my time, uh, where something that maybe is a good thing, um, but anytime I'm putting that before God or having a fear, even like I talked about before, uh, that obviously is not a healthy place to be in. And there's um, a verse in Luke 14 that talks about giving up everything we have. Um, whoever doesn't, is not willing to give up any, everything they have cannot be my disciple. And I was reflecting on that of, you know, am I really giving up everything? Am I willing to give up everything? And um, to be honest, there's times where I have very much held back from God. Um, or maybe I've given 99%, but there's still that 1% I'm holding back because of fear, because of want, wanting control. Uh, and I feel like God has really shown me, uh, especially recently, that He wants me to surrender all to Him. And I think of the idea of greed and generosity and I think of this idea of greed looking inward and looking at ourselves and generosity looking out and looking to what others might need um, and that that would be the way that God wants us to live and how much freedom uh, and joy that we can have in that when we're not focused on ourselves and what we have but when we're willing to give to others and to what God would want to do to bless their lives. Um, and really the picture that God gave me was um, this idea of an open and closed hand. And so when we're experiencing greed, when we're practicing that sin in our life, our hands are closed. We're not fully surrendering to God. But the minute that we open that up, that we surrender that to Him, that we're generous, we're able to give Him control. Um, and that might be a scary place, that might be a vulnerable place, but God wants to use us to really live out his mission and his call in this world. And so, you know, if our hands are closed, he can't do that. We're, we're trying to control too much, but when we surrender and open to him, uh, how much freedom we can have in that. Yeah, I mean, I think that generosity, um, when you first start practicing it, it maybe can be a scary thing. Uh, you know, when you're giving that maybe big amount of money, or again, it doesn't have to be money, it could be um, just something that you're surrendering to God that you haven't before, um, whether that be time or your job or your family. And when you give that completely to God, it can be scary at first, but uh, I think that there is so much that we can experience of God's blessing and God's favor and, and I mean, shared before His joy. Um, when we do that, I know even for tithing now, that's something that we try to be intentional about, that we do with the, you know, when we get our paycheck, that's the first thing we do is that we want to we want to tithe and we want to give that money back to God. And um, it makes me excited to think about what God is going to use that money for to bless his kingdom and to, uh, you know, grow his church. The question that God had really been challenging me with and I felt like other people might benefit from as well is, just thinking about in my own life, what is it that I'm holding on to that I'm not willing to give over to God completely or that I haven't given over to Him? And even that question from Luke 14 of giving everything to be His disciple, you know, have I given everything? Um, and where are the areas in my life that maybe I haven't that God is calling me to give over that greed this week and, you know, become a more generous person in that area?